like, yo, this is like Premier League stand. Okay, it's time for another meal. Hey guys, today I am at a UAE third division match. I'm gonna be showing you guys what the division here is like. We're gonna check out the level, we're gonna check out the facilities. This is one division under the one I'm playing in. It's my first time coming out to a game in this division, so let's check it out. He's excited, he's excited for the match. Facilities, we are at Jebel Ali Shooting Club. That's where the match is taking place. It's about what, half an hour outside of Dubai, would you say? Yeah. More or less. This complex has six football pitches, around six and the match is happening back there but this one's actually empty so let's check out the the quality start off with the grass first off you got natural grass short this is like yo this is like premier league standard it's like imagine a ball here you play a pass i'm telling you no bounces no bounces this is pretty similar to the facilities we play at in the uae second division you got natural grass short the quality is very very nice all across show the paint show the paint look at this paint job here look at this paint job we got a beautiful paint job let's check out the goals so as a player one of the this is a game changer is when you have a goal and it has this back part of it here i don't know like i don't know if you can relate to this but in canada we have a bunch of goals where it's just this post that's all it is so these goals are proper because when you hit top bins, boom, netting all around. Beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. You're impressed, aren't you? This is nice. I have to put you in net. I have to put you in goal. Yeah, trust me. I actually wouldn't make a difference if you're there or if you're not there. I'm going <laughs> to score either way. You know? <laughs> okay, so kickoff is happening soon on that football pitch there. They're probably doing their warm up. Let's go check it out. So a match is about to kick off. They're currently doing the player checks. I think they got the lineups going, starting 11. So, yeah, who you got? You got the white team or the, the other team? I got the white team. Green Herons? Green Herons. You know, so Diego actually used to play for this team before he left. I might need to call him up after, so get, get his thoughts about this team <laughs> in the UAE third division. I really came all the way up to Dubai to get rejected by two clubs. Let's see how many people we got watching. Good attendance today. It's only 30? 30. 30 people? Yeah. Alright, first goal 1-0. Okay, so thoughts on the game so far. Very physical. That's something positive. They're going in the tackles hard. Technically, not not the best so far. You see a couple players, they're making the pace of the game is very fast. They're rushing things. I feel like at times you gotta know when to slow it down, when to speed it up, what pass to play, the pace of the pass that I haven't seen too well so far in this half. But um, yeah, it's pretty pretty much pretty much what I've seen is like these guys are just just physical two hours later all right so we only stayed for a little bit of the first half just want to give you guys a feel for what the UAE third division looks like 
then have to run off somewhere. But two things I didn't get a chance to talk about. One is the season length and then two is player contract. So real quick, player contracts based on the people I've talked to, on the low end, you're looking at accommodation, food, and then no additional salary. And on the higher end uh, for select players, you'd be looking at accommodation, food, and then a couple thousand a month in the local currency. It all depends on who the player is and what the club is. And then season length, October start time, and then around March things end. And then obviously in the summer, the Dubai heat is crazy, so there's no football going on over here. So in the last video, I talked about how I am starting the meal prep. The goal is to gain seven pounds in eight weeks and I'm about a week into it, so I'm gonna give you guys an update on how things are going. So every morning, so every morning I weigh myself on here, and then after, I log it into this app, get this focused. So here's a graph, you can see it actually went down a little bit that first week, and then here are the specific values. So started at around 147, low was 146.8, and then today clocked in at 148. So, so far, no real sign of progress. That's the annoying thing about having an ectomorph body type, like a slim body type where you have a high metabolism and you guys who are in the same boat, I know you can relate right now. We eat a crazy amount. Doesn't matter how much we eat, the body doesn't want to put on weight and it gets frustrating after a while. It gets annoying after you put in so much effort to try and gain weight, but it comes down to consistency. So I'm gonna stick with it. We got eight weeks, I'm gonna be consistent with it. And the goal is to gain seven pounds by the end of it. Okay, it's time for another meal. Let's see what's on the menu. We got baked kimchi beef. It's looking good. So by the way, every day I have to eat four of these meals, plus two snacks, and then also a protein smoothie. That's a lot of food and if I slip up, I'm not gonna hit the target. So the key with this is consistency, just making sure I get the calories every single day. So rest of the day is mainly gonna be some work on my laptop, on my phone. Just gonna make some connections, edit content, and then later today, we're gonna hit a gym workout. All right, so it's later on in the day. I am about to do a gym workout. I just came out here at nighttime. Um, nobody else seems to be in here. Only one putting in the work, but I uh, wanted to be real with you guys. Right now, just feeling a little bit frustrated with some of the things going on behind the scenes, football-wise. Not gonna get into the details, but uh, just wanted to share that so you guys know that in this industry, like most of the times, things actually don't go according to plan and certain things are out of your control, you know, politics and things behind the scenes. But the way I always try to, which I don't get it perfect every time, but I try and take on those situations by taking my frustration and just working harder. So I take that frustration, I take that anger and I try and put it into some positive energy and that's why I decided to come out here and uh, just put in some work, so yeah, out at the gym, gonna do a workout. This is one of those workouts where I just kind of go at it, do what I want, nothing planned. I'm sure you guys can relate to those workouts. So yeah, gonna get a change and then we'll get into it. Look, false personas, all is hopeless in the game now. The wrong devotion flows through those who chase the same cloud. The pollen flowing through the industry got discongested. I'm XXL if they fit the pen in. Fuck who they pick as freshmen. I SMS it, DM and it double send it till they get the message. I road tripped and left with nothing. I've been in the city of angels long enough to sit and question their successes. Who they paying, who they get in bed with. But niggas never see you out at night I'ma need you to vacate the premises You really reaching to maintain your relevance The main reason why I don't have any friends in this Is when I'm in a room, I'm addressing the elephants And they paying for plays and traffic They better off playing and traffic I peak came for a while, I ain't quick to judge But I can see him breaking character, the jig is the up Yeah, how do you feel, man? I'm working. 
workout is done. I'm just gonna keep working. That's what you gotta do. You gotta keep working, keep believing in yourself. You see the vision. Other people might not see your vision, but you see the vision. So as long as you keep putting in the work, that vision is gonna come true. So whatever happens externally happens, but I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep showing up, and they're gonna, they're gonna find out soon.